Hey folks, thanks for checking out the video. This is 99. This is a video that I'm sharing with the preparedness community about the decision that I made to pick a, uh, a larger capacity power station. Nothing too serious. And, uh, you know, there, there are channels out there that will give you all the specs on, on a unit like this, the Pecron E2000 LFP. Uh, this is uh, the one that I chose to be my one of my larger units. I don't have uh, a uh, two kilowatt unit um, up to this point, but this is a 1920 watt hour unit. Um, it is a lithium lithium iron phosphate battery. I get that mixed up sometimes with the lithium ion. Lithium iron phosphate uh, battery chemistry which uh, tends to have a lot more life cycles than the lithium ions from what I understand through my uh, research and I'm not a, a scientist or an expert on any of this stuff it's just some of the things that I purchased to try to stay prepared and to be able to stay, be able to survive in a grid down situation so if I can just run through just a couple of things and the reasons why I picked the Pecron E2000 LFP is because I wanted something simple and something that just had pure, just rough power, just power that, that you can plug into without all the bells and whistles and the fancy stuff, just some, just some hard power. And so this one, like I said, is close to two kilowatts, two, 2000 watt hours. It's actually 1920 watt hours is considered in the two kilowatt uh, area of capacity and then it also it comes with um, a lot of things that I've never used I don't my, my phone doesn't have the um, wireless charging but this unit comes with it so I consider that to be some of the fancy stuff you never know maybe I might use it one day but as of right now I don't have a use for it but what I did want was power now the thing about this unit which one of the things that attracted me to this unit was number one the the value proposition for this thing this unit if i can direct your attention to the website here this unit is now on sale and is being offered for 899 dollars which 899 right there which from what i understand from some of the other YouTubers, they're saying that that's a pretty good deal about uh, about 54 cents per watt hour. And I guess that would be along the lines of the uh, uh, budget minded units. But. And during my research, I'm looking at some of the YouTubers that I actually trust their knowledge and their expertise and their processes that they use to um, to screen these units and to do the tests and rundowns and take them through their paces. Um, uh, one of them, and I, I don't think I should say his name, but you, you can do your own research and, and go for the people that you trust and know. But one of the guys that I watch often, um, he actually had a product code that I used and it took the $8.99 price down another $45. So that 54 cents per watt hour value prop proposition that I'm understanding that people are saying, which was a, a very good price. They say if you get 80 cents, 70 cents per watt hour is a good deal. This one was being offered at 54 cents per watt hour. And with that extra $45 off, that brought it down to about 44 cents uh, per watt hour. And I thought that was pretty good. It actually, it actually is a, a, a pretty good deal. So other than the the price itself, I was looking at the raw power. 1920 watt hours. Now, things that it does not have are the fancy things and the creature comforts like the app support. If you need to be able to check your phone or not, I'm sorry, use your phone to check your unit, the... Um, how much power is left in it and how much it's it's using, um, how much it's actually using here and how much it, it would be bringing in at the time remotely and from another area. Um, the watt 
the watts that are being used is what I'm trying to say and the watts that are, it is taking in. If you need to be able to monitor that, monitor that stuff from uh, away from the unit, app support would be good. I have that on the EcoFlow River Pro and I honestly have never used it. It has never been used by me. Although it, it is a good thing to have, I've never used it, so I don't think I would miss it. The second thing that I'm noticing that it does not have is the ability to be a UPS system. Uninterrupted power source. I've never used that. The EcoFlow River Pro also has that. And if I needed to use something like that, I could just use that one for, for something like that. But up until this point, I've had the EcoFlow about two years or so and I have never used it so I don't think I'll miss it this unit right here I'm considering it to be just like a, a, a base model pickup truck that's very strong does everything you need but it may not have satellite radio if that makes any sense big enough it can do all the work that you needed to do but it might not have GPS but it's all the pickup truck that you ever need. And the price was cheaper than all the other pickup trucks. One of the things that was uh, on the downside that a lot of people talked about was the power brick. Now, the power brick is large. It is huge. And I will not try to downplay the size of the power brick because it is large. That is a brick. But when I think about it, you use the power brick to charge this thing up at home where you have uh, AC accessibility but when it's charging if I have to take it with me somewhere I'm not going to be out at the de in the desert uh, going shooting plugging the brick up to anything I'm going to have solar panels or allow it to run on its own it's 90, 1920 watt hours so it'll last a long time for the things that I would do out there or camping or something like that another thing that I do plan on getting is uh, the expansion battery and that was another reason why I was attracted to this. It has a very large expansion battery capabilities. And if you can see on this picture right here, where's my pointer at? This is the unit, and these are the expansion batteries, which are actually, from what I understand, they are 3,000 watts each. So these are, are on sale right now. Actually, the price for those are $13.99 each. For an expandable 3,000 watt hours. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping my eye out on these sales that are supposed to come up pretty soon. And if that $13.99 drops anywhere near the price of the unit, then I'm going to have to jump on something like that. I think that'll be a good price if it came down to $900, $800. And I'm not sure if I plan on buying one, which would have my... Um, my unit set at about 5,000 kilowatts. I'm sorry, 5 kilowatts, 5,000 watt hours. And then maybe down the line, purchasing the second one to have um, a maximum watt hour capability of 8 kilowatts, which is 8,000 watt hours. So that's the plan. That Again, that is my, my home backup system and plan just to have my raw power be the Pecron E2000 LFP with the expandable batteries and all the fancy stuff. I'll allow the EcoFlow River Pro to take care of that stuff. And the funny thing about it is I have the Jackery 500, which is 518 watt hours. That is the smallest um, watt hour capable unit that I have. And that's the one that I use the most when I go somewhere and I'm doing something quick for the day, half a day, whatever. It's quick. It's light. It's easy. I grab the Jackery 500. And to be honest with you, I don't miss anything else. So I think the uh, Pecron will do everything that I needed to do as far as power. The next um, video that I do that is involved in this, I might have to go ahead and, and do a video and show everyone the uh, backup or expandable battery that I purchased with it. And again, I'm keeping my eye out on those sales that are supposed to come up, I guess, with... Um, Within the next day or two, there's supposed to be some widespread uh, sales going on and everybody's waiting for those to take a look and see what kind of uh, price cuts they can get. And I'll be watching those also. Hey, folks, thanks for checking it out and um, uh, checking out my decision 
to make the Pecron E2000 LFP be the start and the main unit of my home backup system. Oh, and shall I mention also the construction of this thing is actually, uh, let's see, let's not get this wrong, 45, 48 and a half pounds. That's the 48, 48.5 pounds, yeah. The construction of it, it is very solid. I saw a guy stand on the top of his, which I won't be standing on my unit, but I'm sure you could. It's very heavy. It's very solid. Um, I don't think they cut any corners, whereas it pertains to the materials that they use because it's very solid. If I didn't, I didn't mention before, but it has uh, six AC ports here. 100 watt DC port. This is for your your low wattage inputs. 32 volt to 95 volt, 600 watts. Here's the good thing: these imports, these input ports here, are 600 watts maximum each. So that's 1200 watts of input that you can put on those. Then you have a total of 2000 watt on the AC ports here. This is your DC button which controls these uh, ports here, this is your 12 volt AC port, cigarette lighter, car port, whatever you want to call that. Most, most people call them the cigarette lighter. Uh, two more ports there, the barrel style ports. And then you have all of your USBs, your 100 watt power delivery, 5 volt, 2 amp USB, 18 watt, another 5 volt, 2 amp. USB. This is an 18 watt. Um, let's see. Hold this up. 18 watt USB C. The USB A. And a couple more USB A's. 18 watt, 5 volt, 2 amp right there. Again, the 100 watt USB C power delivery port. And then a five, another 5 volt, 2 amp USB A right there. So for those type of port it covers everything that I need and I think it'll do the job pretty good pretty good and at a price of 44 cents per watt hour I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that I'm pretty happy with that as opposed to paying an extra 500 bucks just to get a couple of fancy things US uh, I'm sorry not you UPS function and, and an app I can do without the app. I've already have been doing without the app. And uh, for this one, this big boy, I just wanted power. We're going to get that expansion battery and have plenty of power for home backup. Again, folks, thank you for checking out the video. And uh, do me a favor. Please respect the working class. Later.